Hi, it's Miss Simmons. And today we're gonna to do a botany lesson on the life cycle of a plant. Let's get started. First, I'm gonna unravel our mat. And then I'm gonna grab the material and place it carefully on our mat. The first part in the life cycle of a plant is the planting of a seed. It is placed inside soil. Next, we have our sprout. And this usually happens when we water our seed and we give it some sunlight. And if you notice, you see some roots beginning to form. This is like a little anchor of our plant. It holds it down steady. Next, we have our seedling. How cool is this? And a little baby stem is starting to form. And if you notice, a little leaf is starting to form as well. And those roots, they're beginning to grow out a lot more. So cool. And finally, we have our whole plant. Oh my goodness. It has really grown now with more water and sunlight. You see the roots have extended out further in the soil. And then we have a nice strong stem that has really shooted up as well as some leaves. So cool. Next, we're gonna have a follow-up activity that matches our demonstration on the life cycle of a plant. I have already completed one for us to look at and use when we go to put our follow-up activity together. So we're gonna swap places. We're gonna carefully slide this up and then we're gonna grab the materials needed to create our own diagram of the life cycle of a plant. So I'm gonna grab some markers and I am going to color in carefully the parts of the plant. Okay. We're gonna grab our scissors and we're gonna cut out the images at the bottom so that we can use them to place on our diagram. Now, just like our representation here, we are going to find the seed. Remember we said the first part of the plant is a seed and here's our seed. And we're, gonna, and we're gonna glue it down first. Next, we have our sprout. And we're gonna, yep. Then we're gonna glue that down. Next, we have our seedling. Remember, that's the baby, that's the baby plant. Now, some sprouts look a little bit different from others, depending on the type of plant that it is. And then we have our whole plant. And we're gonna glue this down as well at the end. And remember, sometimes our whole plants, which are our adult plants, look a little bit different from other plants. But one thing is that they do have the same is that they have a strong stem and longer and wider roots. And most of them have leaves on them or sometimes they have um, petals for our flowers. Okay, and here's our representation of the life cycle of a plant. So cool. And the last thing we're going to do is label it. And at the top, we have a word bank, which helps us to get the correct spelling for the parts of a plant. So the first thing we're going to write is seed. Okay. 
Next, our sprout. Our seedling. And finally, our plant. And this, friends, is the life cycle of a plant. Thanks for watching.